Hey guys, welcome back for my long awaited review for the Olive and June quick dry line. I'm sorry this has taken me a little while, but I wanted to make sure I got all of the polishes. There is one that I don't have. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I just wanted to make sure I included all the polishes and I wanted to make sure that I do like a wear test. And I also wanted to make sure that I was just doing the review justice. <laughs> These type of reviews take quite a bit of time. And so I just wanted to give myself some of that time. Plus also some other spring collections popped up in between that that I really wanted to get up. So those kind of took precedence over this. So hopefully you don't mind because some of those spring collections I got super excited about. But I am excited about this line too and I'm ready to talk to you guys about it and show you everything and hopefully this is helpful. I will say that I did not do comparison pictures for this just because it was a little bit overwhelming and I've had a lot on my plate, but I did spend about two hours, I'm not joking, going through and finding polishes for each one of these that I felt like were pretty close, or I'm definitely gonna talk about what they're comparative to so you guys can decide if it's worth getting. I probably have missed some polishes as we talk about them. I'm sure you guys will probably bring up some, but I tried my best to, to pull things that I thought were pretty close to this so you could get an idea of the color tone of the polish. So hopefully it's helpful, even though I didn't do full out comparison pictures. These polishes are available now at Olive in June. You can use my code OJGOPOLISH20 for a discount. The discount for 20% is off a Manny or Petty system for first time customers, which I highly recommend. I think it's worth grabbing if you're gonna pick up some polishes and you haven't tried out their Manny system or Petty system, try it out because I love them. Okay, let's talk about quick dry for a second before we move any further. But I wanted to say that the regular Olive and June line is a long lasting line. And I find that to be true. I have a whole Olive and June line review that I'll probably link down below for you guys. But I find that to be true for me for them to last eight or 10 days. I think they do claim they last about two weeks. These are 15 free and they're vegan and they say they last five less days. So they're not going to last as long, but they're going to be a little quicker drying. And the Olive and June polishes do take quite a bit of time to dry. Sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it's nice to just enjoy painting your nails and taking the time to do it. Do find these to be quicker drying than their main line. But in regular nail polish lines like SE and OPI, I feel like these dry just as fast as those. Um, and then also the drying time on these is going to vary depending on the type of formula as well. I feel like jelly polishes take a little bit longer to dry. So yes, I do think they dry faster than the main Olive and June line, but the main Olive and June line takes longer to dry in general. Does that make sense? So if you're an Olive and June fan and you love their polishes, but you don't like waiting a long time for them to dry, then you're really going to like these. But I feel like they dried pretty much the same as regular nail polish lines. I also find that Essie Gel Couture polishes take quite a while to dry too, and those are long lasting non-cure gel polishes. So there's something in those long lasting formulas that make them have a longer drying time. Hopefully I didn't totally over explain that. <laughs> <laughs> probably did. There are 19 polishes in this collection. I said I wanted to have them all. There is one that I didn't grab though. We'll talk about that in a minute. But then it also comes with this top coat. And I did try out this top coat. I wanted to buy it and see how long it lasted. And I wanted to be true to like the line by having a complete set. And so I did try this out. I'll talk about how long it lasted for me when I get to the polish that I wore. But I did try it out with this top coat. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you know what that polish is because I talked about it a couple weeks ago when I was on vacation and I was trying it out. Okay, so let's start with the first one. And this is the one I don't have and it's called Crystal and it's just a clear polish. So I do not have that one. It's just a clear polish you can wear on top of your nails. So I'm not swatching that one or I don't have it, but that is one that I'm going to mention. This next one is Swan. It's a really stark opaque white. It really has an opaque formula that quite surprised me. It's going to build up. I feel like I show you this in two coats. It might be a little patchy in some areas where you might need three, especially with these really stark whites. Um, they can be a little difficult that way, but I feel like the formula was actually really good. And I feel like with time, these kind of thicken up as they get a little older as well. And so I liked the formula on this one. It can be a little tricky to use. You're going to have to kind of maneuver it around your nail to get it where you want it to go. I don't know 
how to explain that, but there's a few polishes out there that are a little bit opaque and need to be kind of moved um, where you want them. They don't just kind of flow onto the nail, if that makes sense. But I did find this to have a really great formula. I did find it to dry fairly quickly. They claim to have them dry under a minute, and I would say that's pretty true, but that's about as long as I wait for regular nail polishes to dry in between coats as well. But obviously that can vary with different formulas as well. So I felt like all in June can get really opaque in this line because of that, and so I I liked this one. And then we have a point, and I really, really love this one. It's this beautiful kind of peachy pinky shade. It really has an opaque, stark formula as well, and it builds up really nicely. I think in my life's watch, I'm showing you two coats. You might be three, depending on the application, but it's got a very, very white base and quite opaque. A lot of the time, all of in June polishes are kind of more sheer and crelly-ish, which I like, but this one is definitely more stark and opaque. Sometimes with polishes like that, you can get a really chalky formula, and they can be a little bit harder to apply but I felt like this one applied very very well this really reminded me of point dune from olive and June which I really really love but this is like the more stark and opaque version of that that one's more crelly ish like I was saying before and maybe this is a little bit peachier but it really reminded me of that but the formulas are quite different then we have poodle it's this beautiful kind of pinky purple mauve shade it's a little bit whited out and muted and I really really love these kind of shades quite a bit it was hard for me to find the right amount of polish to apply on this because the brush was a little bit thick and they hold a lot of polish. So I feel like I had to scrape the side of the brush before applying it with a little more pressure because it was holding a lot of nail polish. And I think I show you this swatch of me kind of messing up. And then the second coat, I got a little bit less. And so it was hard for me to find that balance. I don't know why I felt like showing that, but I kind of just did. The more you use them, you'll find a way that works for you. This one's very similar in the bottle to Ladylike. I pulled that one out and I was like, oh, this is pretty similar. It also reminded me of Go Go Geisha, but it's much more pink than that. But they are kind of similar along those lines. And then we have Howdy, which is this peach nude, probably more nude than peach. And it's a really interesting shade. It's got more of a Crelly formula. So I think you're gonna want two to three coats on this one, depending on how you apply it. But I found this one is kind of a beautiful shade. It's a little bit unique and I liked it more than I I thought I would. And then we have Nuance, which is this beautiful, really whited out, muted coral shade. I really like it a lot. It's probably a little more pink leaning. It was kind of a good balance between a coral and like a mauve, but I like it quite a bit. It's got a really nice creamy, glossy formula, and there were a lot of polishes that it reminded me of. I feel like this is a lighter version of Yogurt Parfait. I feel like those are pretty close, but that one's a little bit darker, and this one's a little bit softer than that color, so that gives you an idea of where this one sits. Polishes like Beachy Keen and Orly Cotton Candy are darker and brighter, but they're the same kind of coral. So this is a little softer and lighter than shades like that. And I really, really liked this one. I think it's going to be perfect for spring. And next we have Rink here. It's a shade that I absolutely love. It's a very, very light blue with a hint of purple. So it's slightly periwinkle leaning and it's really nice. It's got kind of a curly formula. It's going to be opaque in two to three coats, depending on how you apply it. So I pulled out some polishes just to kind of see how this compares compared to some of my favorites because I love polishes like this. And this is almost exact to BP, which is probably one of their top selling polishes, I would guess. I don't know, I would say it's up there. Um, I don't have any statistics on that, but I feel like it's a popular one. So I know why they probably pulled it out in this line and I really love it. It is kind of close to Virgin Snow and OPI I Am What I Amethyst. Those are maybe a little bit, tiny bit darker and maybe slightly more blue than this one. So so I really like this one a lot. And then Vintage is this beautiful, soft, muted blue. I love this polish so, so much. So, so much. I definitely think you guys need to pick this one up. It's got a very nice opaque formula. It's gonna be opaque in two coats, and it just is a nice shade. It's a little bit cooler tone too for a grayed out blue. It really gave me vibes of OPI Destined to be a Legend. I feel like this one is maybe slightly cooler, but I really enjoyed this one. It's one of my favorites from this collection, and the formula is really fantastic. And then we have Minty here, and it's a really bright, opaque, light mint green. It is so so beautiful, you guys. I love how stark it is. I feel like I don't have a lot of greens that are this stark, but yet it's not like chalky to use, if that makes sense. 
Um, I wanted to pull this out so you could see. It's pretty similar to this one here. This is a new one from SE. This one has a great formula too. I feel like it's more opaque. And this one's definitely going to be darker than this. And I love both of these. I think you need both of them. And this is the one I did the wear test for. And I was super excited to use it. And I always am surprised how long these Alvin and Juden polishes last. I was sitting in the hot tub like every night on my vacation. And it still held up so well. Their five plus days is like spot on. I feel like after day five I did have a little bit of chipping and peeling but not too much only on like a couple fingers and one I had kind of cut with a knife a little bit I do that sometimes yeah I feel like I got such nice wear and I feel like for me five or six days is really great eight to ten is like fantastic so I thought they did well and I'll insert some pictures in here so you guys can see how I had it on my vacation I was bummed because I forgot to take a picture before I took it off of it on that last day but I think on this nail I had had a little chip on these both both these pointer ones so other than that like there was just tip wear that's it and it held up really really great especially considering the conditions so I really like this one a lot and I'm kind of excited to actually wear it again I love mint green so much another beautiful shade is koala and this one is so interesting to me it's like is it gray is it kind of brown is it green those are questions I ask myself when I have this on for a little while and I just love polishes like that so much it's so pretty and I love that it's light and and more neutral and it kind of reminds me of this polish too in that same way it's kind of like sometimes looks green sometimes looks brown this one's quite a bit lighter than this obviously so this one is beautiful it has a really nice formula it's a little bit crelly but it's more buildable and so I feel like you can get it opaque in a couple coats it kind of reminded me of exposed a little bit but it's quite a bit lighter than that by Essie but it kind of has those kind of color tones but that one's actually a little bit more gray and it's not as sage green as some of those other ones that Essie has like natural connection that one's a more muted sage so it's closer to this but that is more green and belief in yourself is quite a bit more green so I feel like this is quite original and I love it so much another fantastic one is sagey and I love this so much such a beautiful sage green polish it's perfect it's like a perfect neutral green if you haven't tried any greens and you just don't like green try a neutral green like this one and I really think you'll like it it's not quite olive because it doesn't have as much yellow but it has enough gray in it to make it a little cooler toned if that makes sense and the formula on this one is fantastic too a couple coats I did notice bubbles on this one and I don't know it probably was just the way I applied it once in a while with olive and June I do find that I do get bubbles and so you have to be careful to not apply it too thick and kind of press down when you're finding some with your brush a little bit more firm just to rid of any bubbles when you're applying it but I love this one so much this is very close to OPI this is in Greenland just to give you an idea of what the color is uh, I don't think they're exactly the same but they're very very close and then we have prairie and I love this kind of soft lilac it's kind of a little bit grayed out smoked out but not completely so I feel like this is going to be a fun one for spring. I'm loving colors like this. I have always loved colors like this. But the formula on this one's really great too. It's very close to being opaque in one coat, but I would definitely do two for this one. But it is just beautiful and I love that it's a little bit lighter. I feel like it's a lighter version of Malva from Morgan Taylor that I just did a review on and you can catch that. It's like my latest review up on YouTube. So I really enjoyed this one. And then we have Prom and this is like the perfect bright pink it's so bright but it's a little bit muted it's almost a little bit mauve but it is so fun and so opaque it builds up in one coat I mean man you could probably completely get away with having this in one coat I'm pretty sure that's what I'm showing you here in the live swatch and I wanted to pull out frolic because it definitely gave me frolic vibes I feel like this one's a little bit more muted than frolic frolic has this brightness to it that is amazing but it does lean a little bit more purple I've talked about frolic a lot it's really hard to find it's from Orly it's one of my favorite ever. Someone reminded me that I did say that Essie Expressy Trick Click, I just want to mention this, is very close. So I pulled that one out again just to look and see. And yes, that's like the closest I found. I need to talk about that more here and on Instagram because someone reminded me of that and I had kind of just forgotten about it. But that one's very close. I don't pull Essie Expressy polishes out very often, uh, but I need to pull that one out for sure because that's the closest to it. But those are a little bit more purple than this, but I really liked this one a lot. And then we have Picante and it is a really fiery hot red 
orange shade, coral. <laughs> Basically coral. It is a very buildable Corelli, so, but it's a little more cream leaning. So man, I was kind of shocked when this <laughs> was almost opaque in one coat. It is amazing, you guys. I love this one so much. I know I'm gonna get asked how it compares to other Olive and June colors. It's very close to your Doing Great, which is one of my favorites from Olive and June. Um, but this one's a little bit more brighter than that one, which who doesn't want that? A brighter coral. <laughs> We definitely all want that, so I'm so glad I have this one. Lava is a little bit more orange, and Larchmont was a little bit more red, and so this kind of sits in between. Love this one. And then we have Southwest, which is this beautiful burnt orange shade, perfect for the fall. In fact, I had to wait on a lot of these shades too. Came out in the fall, and these were really hard to find. They were like out sold out for about a month or so. So I was also waiting on these for about a month, but I'm glad I have them now. I love this one so much. It's perfect for the fall. Like I said, it's a little more pumpkin leaning than burnt orange, I would say. Actually, that would maybe be a better description of it. it has a little bit of a curly-ish formula, but it is buildable. So you're going to get it opaque in two coats, but I really like the formula on this one quite a bit. Yeah, I love it. And then we have a smooch, which is this beautiful kind of squishy red. It's a pretty true toned red, maybe slightly Slightly more orange leaning but I like this one I really do kind of like this other red from this line a little better than this one but that's just a personal preference this one has great buildable formula it's gonna be opaque in two coats this is very close in color to CV CV does have more white in the base and this is a little bit more curly ish though and so they are different that way but the color tones similar but since that has white in the base it's gonna look a little bit different um, but that gives you an idea of kind of the color tone of this one and then we have lippy which I love very much it's a beautiful red polish and then it has these beautiful gold shades shimmery pieces in there that are perfect for the holidays. I was actually waiting on this one, I think, too, during the holidays. No, I did have this one because I think I talked about it in my favorite winter polishes video. Um, yeah, I did. So I love, I love this one. It's so pretty and perfect. I love anything for the holidays that is like barely their glitter. Just so fun. So this is beautiful. It has a beautiful formula. It's gonna build up in two coats. It's so close to one coat as well, even though it's kind of curly-ish, but I definitely would do two coats just to have a little more dimension with those glitter pieces, but I really enjoy this one a lot. This one did take a little bit longer to dry just because it is kind of a curly jelly-ish formula and it has the glitter in there. And sometimes I find I need to give those a little bit more drying time just so that you're aware. And then we have Enchanted. It's similar to Lippy, but it is a purple base. It has this nice, beautiful purple base. And then it has the these pink to purple glitter pieces in there. So pretty too. I think this is perfect for the fall. This is one that I was waiting on as well from the fall because it was totally sold out. And I think for good reason because I think it's a beautiful polish. I really like it a lot with that subtle glitter. And the formula is pretty similar to Lippy. It's a little bit curly-ish. It's going to build up in two coats. I would say it's very close to one, but you're going to want to do two just to get a little more depth like I mentioned before with Lippy for those glitter pieces in there to shine. <laughs> so I like this one too. And this last one here is Cat. I love the name for this. It's their black and man, it is amazing. It's dark black and it is opaque in one coat. My favorite black is Essie Licorice, but this might compete with that. I don't know. I think I'll reach for this one too. I love how opaque the formula is. It's just so nice. It just really surprised me. I think that you guys will like this one too. I did feel like it was pretty quick drying, but I would say it dries just as quickly as Essie Licorice. So I don't know. It's hard for me to not get black polish pretty thick when I'm applying it because I do want it to go on in one nice thick coat. And I can usually do that with like a slightly older bottle of Essie Licorice. When you first get the bottle, you'll probably have to do two coats. But then if you wait a few months and it dries just a little bit, then you can apply it in like one nice coat. But this one's like one coat just out of the bottle here, but it was a little bit of a thicker coat, just so you're aware. Wow, I'm really blabbing on today. But anyway, I really enjoyed this one. I'll probably reach for it for sure. Okay, time to pick favorites. Oh gosh, they're so hard to hold these bottles. I have seven. Seven. That's not too bad out of the 18 that I have. 19 counting the crystal one that I don't have. And here they are. And I'll tell you real quickly why these are my favorites. Love this color. Really nice. And love this formula. So I'll definitely be wearing this. This is sagey. Love this bright coral. Do I have other corals? Yes, but I'll definitely be reaching for this one. This one's called Picante. And then I love this minty green because it's super long lasting. Well, five to six days, which is pretty good. I probably could have gotten more if I added another layer of top coat on day like three or four, which I should have done. Love this one. This one is minty. This vintage color so 
beautiful. I would wear this any time of year, but especially like in the winter or fall. And this one's called Vintage. Definitely need that one. Love this for the holidays. Probably the only time I'd wear it, but I love it. This one's lippy with the glitter in it. And then Koala. I would wear this any time of the year. Probably my favorite out of the bunch just because it's the most kind of unusual, grayed out, smoky, khaki green. Love, 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 love. Koala. You need it. And then the black. I'm definitely going to be using it when I wear black because it's nice and opaque. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. As far as quick dry, I feel like they're pretty normal drying polishes. But compared to the Olive and June line, yes, they're going to dry quite a bit quicker. So having you guys know that there are some colors in here that I definitely love that are a little bit different that I would totally pick that I mentioned. Well, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this line and Olive in June and any polishes you think you might pick up. And thanks so much for joining me yet again. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.